Nope, not gonna do it. Happy hobby, I'm David Gannis, and today we are talking about five things that I won't do as a sports car collector. My wife was telling me this was a trend on some of the social media sharing, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Five things I'm not gonna do as a sports car collector. Number one, I am not putting my cards in binders. I'm not putting them in sleeves and those pages and putting them in a binder and putting it away. To me, that's a little too risky, a little too many opportunities for a bar to push on it, for it to hang, it's sitting in one of those three card holder binders and it's just hanging there. It's too much opportunity for things to press up against it. I don't like it. It's nice to be able to see them, but I'd rather have them in penny sleeves and top holders so I can sort through them and move them around the way I want to. Number two, I am not putting my cards in screw down holders. I'm not protecting them that way. Those screw down holders, they kind of squish them a little bit. And over time, supposedly they make them a little flatter than they should be. They make them a little out of shape, especially older cards. Don't do it. Put them in a top loader. Put them in a one touch. Keep them protected that way. I actually had a set of 1992, I believe it was Skybox NBA draft picks. They were in cellophane and then they were in a massive screw down holder. Well, you can just imagine the cellophane stuck to the cards and then the holder just smushed it together. It was just a horrible. So when I, by the time I pulled it apart, it was just ruined. Of course, the top card was Shaquille O'Neal. Ruined, gone, threw it out, didn't even save it. I did hold on to some of the cards behind it, uh, like Alonzo Mourning came out okay, Robert Ori came out real nice, but Shaq, gone. Number three, I am not building my sports car collection through breaks. Breaks are a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun. It's a good thing to uh, have a community to join. I do the On With Cards and Breaks a lot. They're a lot of fun. I say a lot. Once a week, maybe, I do them. But uh, don't try to build your collection through them. Don't be chasing those cards that uh, it's really tough to get. First, you have to get the right team. Then you got to make sure that card comes through for that team. Then it's got to be a parallel. Then it's got to be auto. Just enjoy it. Have fun doing breaks. Don't build your collection through that. Go by singles or go by boxes. You want to make sure you do it reasonably. Don't go crazy, but don't build your collection through breaks. Number four thing, I will not take my fair share from Target or Walmart. There's a bunch of boxes there. That's awesome. I'm going to grab one. I may grab two. I might grab one and st stash another one away for uh, a rainy day or for uh, next year or a couple years from now. But I'm not going to just clear off that shelf into my cart and take it to the register. It's not cool. Be a collector. Don't be somebody that's taken it. And the number five thing that I'm not going to do, I'm not going to buy cards that don't make me happy. What does that even mean? What I mean by that is you'll see there's a lot of sports card content out there. And a lot of them will be pumping up cards that you've never heard of, sets that you've never heard of, sports that you're barely involved in. For instance, F1. I've only barely started to be interested in that. I haven't gone and invested anything crazy in that yet. I don't know what I like, what I don't like. I'm starting to... I feel like I'm starting to like George Russell, though. That's between us. George Russell seems pretty cool. But I'm not going crazy on it. Once I watch some races and get involved into it, then that may make me happy. So then I'll get me a George Russell card. But until then, don't buy cards that don't make you happy. 86 Fleer basketball, that makes me happy. 88 Fleer basketball, that makes me happy. Um, a 1998 Precious Gems, those are really cool. But I'm not really into the metal stuff, like the the Skybox Metal Universe. I'm not crazy about those cards. They don't make me that happy. So I don't buy them. So I want to hear from you now in the comments. Let me know the five things you won't do. Let me know one thing you will not do as a sports card collector. Whatever you do, make sure one thing you do do, he said, dude, is have a happy hobby.